Hey guys, this is a video that I wanted to make about the hyperbaric chamber. A lot of you have been asking about the workings and how to operate it. So a quick disclaimer, this is not used to treat any sorts of medical issues. This is not a medical device. This is just for fun. I built it uh, with a couple friends to see if we could, essentially. It's a it's just a scientific project, nothing else, no medical related stuff. I have to say that because it's actually against the law to use your own homemade medical devices without a license. So with that said, this chamber is uh, operational and it's pretty fun to play around with it. it. Has a lot of gadgets as you can see. It can look overwhelming, but it really isn't. I'll start off with how it's pressurized. It's pressurized with this air compressor. I put the air compressor into this storage shed and storage unit because it's a lot quieter in here. But more importantly, I have this um, oxygen, uh, what's it called? Uh, just to remove the humidity, dehumidifier, there we go. <laughs> dehumidifier and it keeps this, uh, this tank from absorbing too much water and injecting too much water into the system. The oxygen is, flows along the orange tubing into there, through the wall, and up through those two uh, water removal filters. Th during the winter, I do not use a cooling system. This is the cooling system, it's a refrigerator. Uh, in the winter time, I will take the refrigerator and I will just unplug these uh, two hoses. One end goes in, uh, it goes in here, and the other end just attaches and continues to flow. Inside the refrigerator, I just have coiled copper tubing um, in a bucket filled with fluids to keep it real cool. As the oxygen continues along the line, it goes through a couple, well, several different filters, micro particle filters, uh, different kinds of carbon filters, just to purify it and make it safe. And then it goes, and as you can see, it goes and attaches to the back side of the chamber. We will look inside the chamber a little bit later. At the same time, we have these oxygen tanks that I fill up. These oxygen tanks are filled up with medical grade, I guess, uh, oxygen, just really high quality oxygen. And it flows along this orange hose. It also goes through a filtration system, and then it is in injected directly into there. So one of, one of the hoses in the back is, again, from the compressor. The other one is from the air tanks. And that's it, that's how it works, in a nutshell. <laughs> so, um, quick look, there's a couple different, couple different uh, ways to monitor pressure. Everything is operational by one person. It's really easy. Has a few different blow off valves, that uh, blows off at 30 PSI, that one blows off at 35 PSI if the tank gets overpressured. And on the inside, yeah, it's a big old swing door made on a couple hinges. On the inside, that's where the pure oxygen comes in and it goes over to that mask. Again, not for medical treatment, just for fun. <laughs> that right there is the blow off valve. That's how I eliminate all the pressure inside. This is a muffler that I built out of PVC pipe filled with uh, just different uh, material to quiet the intake of uh, the oxygen because the compressor is really loud and it just makes so much noise. I also have one additional safety feature, a massive blow off valve right there. I don't know if you can see it. And that is also used as an emergency feature. Windows are bulletproof glass. And the door is, uh, is closed along seals. The, there's no need to create any kind of 
any kind of lock on the inside. Pressure shuts the door and seals it. With that said, there's one additional feature. How do I refill the tanks? I use this medical grade medical grade oxygen uh, refill station. I think it's called the home fill station number two. And this is a unit that I built with the help of uh, a local welding shop because high pressure brass fittings were a little bit hard to find, but these guys helped me out. And it works like so. To refill these two tanks, one end goes there. The other end will directly, uh, it, it will tie into this tank. And the third end is right, is right here. And it just plugs in. It's that easy. It's plug and play, fills up both of these tanks overnight. And then you just put in this pressure regulator in its place and have fun with it. That's it guys in a nutshell. Uh, sorry for not giving you specifics. There's too many specifics to provide on how I built this. It's just like I said, just a little scientific project with a couple friends. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.